Hello, and welcome back to all my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, why not? Today, I wanted to talk about why you would want to learn an assembly language in 2023, 2024. Why on earth would you want to learn that? Well, there's a lot of good reasons. Let's talk about them. Learning assembly language can be beneficial for several reasons. So the first is, assembly language provides a direct interface with the computer's hardware, so allowing it allows the programmer to gain a deeper understanding of how the computers execute instructions on a hardware level. Now, assembly language allows for precise control over hardware, resulting in highly optimized and efficient code, if you know what you're doing. Uh, and this can be crucial in scenarios where performance is a critical factor, like embedded systems or real-time applications. Um, Many embedded systems, like microcontrollers or Internet of Things devices, require programming in assembly for optimal resource utilization. And learning assembly is essential for those interested in developing software for these types of systems. Um, assembly language is valuable for those who are involved in reverse engineering and cybersecurity because understanding assembly code is crucial to analyze and secure software identify vulnerabilities and developing effective uh, security measures and countermeasures. And <clears throat> the next is if you're interested in building compilers, interpreters, or even creating your own programming language, you can benefit from a deeper understanding of assembly. This sort of knowledge is foundational for designing efficient code generation strategies. Now, some systems that demand real-time responsiveness, such as control systems in robotics and audio-video processing, often require programming and assembly. So knowing assembly allows the programmers to meet stringent timing requirements. And while modern programming language abstract many, many details of hardware interaction, legacy systems, uh, and applications like legacy systems still use assembly. So knowledge of assembly is valuable if you're going to have to maintain or update old legacy systems. Now, in performing critical sections of code where efficiency is paramount, writing spe a specific portion in assembly can lead to significant speed improvements. Now, this is particularly relevant in applications like game development or high performance computing. It also helps learn computer architecture. So assembly language is very closely tied with the computer architecture. So learning assembly provides insights into the interworkings of the CPU and the memory management and the other essential components of the computer system. So proficiency in assembly language can set a programmer apart in certain specialized fields and it opens an opportunity in industries where low level programming skills are highly, highly valued. Now, you're probably not going to need this as a web developer, but any sort of low-level programming, you're going to need to know and understand. Now, understanding assembly language can enhance your ability to interface code written in other languages, especially when you're dealing with low-level sort of system calls and libraries. And it gives you a better appreciation for the high-level abstractions, because learning assembly can deepen your own appreciation for high-level programming and provide insights into the translation progress, uh, process from a high-level code into machine code. And this understanding can help lead to better coding practices. Now, in conclusion, learning assembly language programming in 2023, 2024, it offers a unique set of advantages ranging from improved efficiency and performance of critical applications, deeper understanding of the architecture and security, and while it's not necessary for every programmer, it's a valuable skill, especially for those pursuing, you know, specific fields or seeking more profound understanding of, you know, computer fundamentals. So that's just my opinion. Please let me know in the comments if you do agree or disagree. Uh, I'm happy to listen to opinions and I'm quite keen to hear them. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you soon.